Today, we're gonna to talk about B60 filters. Now, there's been a little bit of talk online about the various different filters out there. I thought I would just do a quick video to explain exactly what the differences are with the three different types of V60 filters you can currently buy, all Hario brand. We're gonna brew them, see if there's any real differences there. Maybe taste them too. That'll make sense, I promise. So, right now, there are three different types of filters that you can buy. You can get the boxed filters, right, which are typically available only in 40s for the bleached filters. You can still get hundreds of the unbleached. These are the original, right? These are the ones made by the original factory in Japan. Uh, not so long ago, these came out, which are the kind of the loud, crinkly pouch. So these are the kind of loose packed uh, filters. These are also made in Japan, but in a different factory. They're in a new factory. So uh, these, are, these have been around for a little while. Most recently you've seen these, the sort of shrink wrapped type of packs of 100. Now these are actually made in Europe, they're made in the Netherlands. So these are, are probably the kind of newest filters out there and they're all a little bit different. So let's look in a little bit more detail into how they're different. Let's open them up. Okay, so there's three filters and they do feel really quite different, which is interesting. The original filter has uh, no tab. The other two have little convenience tabs to help you open and separate the filter out. The original does not have that. The most recent ones, the ones from Europe, also have V60 debossed on them. Now as a paper, they feel really different to the other two, which feel a little closer in texture. The original feels softer, almost, as a texture. Uh, and it looks reasonably similar to the other Japanese paper, but the, the newer one definitely looks a lot different. So what I want to do really is the first test is I'm going to brew uh, each filter, same conditions. We're going to do a really simple pour over technique. There's going to be a stirred bloom and then we're going to get the water in as quickly as possible a stir for the drawdown, and that's it. Just so we can see the influence and impact of the paper on brew time, which I think is gonna be really, really interesting. Different thicknesses of paper, they're gonna swell different ways. Those fibers are gonna kind of add a little bit of resistance to the brew, potentially. Uh, I don't know exactly how they're gonna brew, but it should be an interesting little test. So I'm gonna brew 30 grams to 500 of water, and I will just do that three times and see the difference. Done at two minutes twenty. We'll call that done at two thirty five. So the next part of the test that I wanted to do was try and understand if the papers were bringing any kind of taste to play in a cup of coffee. Now everyone rinses their papers, or at least I hope they do, but I thought it would be fun to do a quick experiment. Now years ago I wrote a piece for a magazine called Longberry where I tasted a whole host of different filter papers and all I did was this, I steeped them in hot water and then tasted the results and it was really surprising how different they were. So that's exactly what I've done here with the three papers, with the original Japanese paper, with the uh, other, the second Japanese factory, and then the Dutch factory over here. So I'm kind of curious just to taste, these have been sitting for about 10 minutes infusing now, whether there's any difference. So, um, you know, wish me luck. 
kind of a little bit sweet. Kind of reminds me a little bit of um, like chewing a pencil, that kind of taste, not surprisingly. Let's go for this one here. Oh, different, really different. Not unpleasant, actually, but um, less of the kind of slightly artificial sweet, much more of a kind of um, a much more kind of just straight cardboardy flavor, I guess, a little bit. But really, actually, no, really very neutral, actually. Probably, you know, really very little flavor coming out of this. Oh, oh, that is very different. That is, it's not, not entirely unpleasant. It's a bleached filter after all, um, but it definitely has a much more uh, distinct taste. Kind of almost tiny bit chemically, tiny bit leathery almost, really, really drastically different. Okay, let's wrap this all up into some results. Coming into this, I'd heard people having very, very, very different experiences, quite dramatically different brews with the different papers. And so it was interesting to do a test to verify that. Now, you know, I don't think the two papers from Japan brewed dramatically different. You know, there was a small variance in time, but not something that you would really be worrying about a great deal or maybe worrying about changing a grind setting for. And they were both pretty neutral tasting. The papers here, they, they, they did brew pretty differently, like really surprisingly differently to me, especially because this felt like a thinner piece of paper, not like say a Chemex filter, which feels really, really thick. This felt quite the opposite, quite thin. I wonder whether it swells more dramatically uh, in contact with water, just providing that little bit of extra resistance. I don't really necessarily understand why it's doing what it's doing, but it's definitely, definitely notable. And it does taste a little bit different. The original filters are only available right now in packs of 40. And that does mean that you're gonna pay a premium if you really do want the original filters. They're definitely available, they're out there, but you are gonna pay more. And I'm not necessarily sure that they're worth that much more than the other filters that you can quite easily get that are made in Japan. I'm not saying you should avoid the papers made in Holland. Maybe you like them, maybe they brew better for you. I'm not saying that one is dramatically better than the other, but certainly if you're having issues with this paper, it might be worth tracking down one of these two. And so for sure, really definitely pretty interesting, quite surprising. Uh, I would really love to hear your feedback. Have you been brewing with any of these different papers? Have you had wildly different results to the ones that I've had in some pretty simple testing here today? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.